In this lesson, we're going to talk about the Security Gateway installation process, including downloading the Security Gateway installer from our website, running the installer from your desktop, selecting the directory in which you wish to install Security Gateway, selecting whether you wish to use an internal or external database, entering your registration key, and then finally, completing the installation process. Once we've considered the various deployment considerations with Security Gateway, including where it will be installed, how accounts will be added, and so forth, then the next step would be to download the Security Gateway installer file and install Security Gateway. So to download the Security Gateway installer, you can go to our website at mdaemon.com, go to the Downloads tab, and select Security Gateway for email servers. And then you can click on the download link right here and specify the language and whether you want the 64-bit or the 32-bit version, and then click on the link to download the file. Once you've downloaded the Security Gateway installer, simply double-click on it to begin the installation process. And then on the first screen, simply click on Next, read the End User License Agreement, and then click on I Agree. And then by default, this is the directory that Security Gateway will be installed in you can change that directory to another path by simply clicking on the Browse button here. Otherwise, click on Next. And then on the next screen, you can choose whether you want to use Security Gateway's built-in Firebird database, or if you have your own existing Firebird database that you'd like to use, then you can select the second option and fill in the server information here to connect to your external database. Most of the time, Security Gateway's own internal database will be used. So we'll select the first option and then click on Next. And then on the next screen, you're given the option to install the free trial of Security Gateway, or if you've already purchased a registration key, simply select the second option and then enter that registration key in the blank provided. And then click on Next. And next, we are ready to install, so simply click on Next. And at this point, the installer will begin copying all of the files to the appropriate directories. Next, you can leave this box checked to start Security Gateway right away. You can also check the second box if you'd like to review the release notes. Otherwise, simply click on Finish. And at this time, your browser will open up and take you to the Security Gateway configuration screen where you can log in to Security Gateway.